Hello there everyone, it's King Sloth back again with a brand new video. As you can tell by the, the title, today's going to be a bit of a weird one. Uh, it's reasons why I miss being in the British Army, which I didn't expect to be making this video. But I've been speaking to people who I like, used to be around near enough every day for many, many years. And it seems like stuff that they're doing hasn't changed. And it, it, it feels weird to even like be thinking about it, like, yeah, I remember doing that. I remember doing that. Oh, God, yeah, I remember that. It's really weird. But, yeah, before I start the video, make sure to leave a like. I aim for 10 likes on this video. You know, you're all very supportive, and thank you all so much. Comment ca comment down below um, what you want me to react to next. Uh, the reaction videos are doing really, really well. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying doing the reaction videos. It doesn't need to be military. It can be music. It can be films. It can be... Anything, anything you fancy I can react to. Anything you fancy I can get it done. And remember to subscribe. We're aiming for 3,000 by the end of the year. And so far I think we've got 430, I believe, we've got left to go. So we're off to a, a good start this January. I think we've hit like, I think we've got 50, 40, 40 subs this month so far. So we're doing really, really well. But yeah, let's get into the reasons. First, first reason is generally, it sounds really weird me even saying this. But I miss having organised PT that was mandatory. That sounds really strange, I know. For, for someone in the RAF to be saying that is really, really weird. I, I understand entirely. But I remember it was Monday, you had a late start. Great. Tuesday, PT. Wednesday, sport. Thursday, PT. Friday, CO's PT. And we did that every week. And it was a way to break up break up the week almost and i didn't realize how much benefits it actually was i remember being like oh fuck say i got pt in the morning i got pt tomorrow fuck i can't be asked but then it was the not knowing how well it was actually helping me at the time i was in now i'm in the raf it's not like mandatory pt as long as you pass your fitness test it's sound you can do it if you fail with your fitness test, then you do, obviously, like, your PT, but you do it in the daytime. Uh, so, like, a normal PT session in the army is, like, almost the punishment for not passing your fitness test in the RAF, if you get what I mean. If you fail your fitness test in the army, you can put on remedials, which, which, when I did it, was before work, during work, a PT session, then after work, a PT session. And it wasn't, like, a little little light work session it was a beast in every single time i lost so much weight doing it it was it was unreal it was really good really really unreal uh second thing i miss about being in the army like it's not the the people it's how the people act in the british army is what i miss i miss the the carnage i miss like the, the sarcasm behind everything everything in the raf seems very almost business-like almost like more tailored to a civvy job. So if you are looking for a civvy version of like military, from my experience, the RAF is better. If you're looking for more that military macho kind of job, I would say go the army. I'm not too sure about the navy. I haven't done that, and I, I don't plan on doing all three services. The RAF will be my last military service. For those people who are actually sending me direct messages on Instagram saying, "Do the minimum service RAF, then go navy." We want to know what it's like. I'm not. I'm not being that guy to do triple hatting. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Two's enough for me. See, so yeah, I miss the people. The people. I remember literally used to going to work and be like, "Oh, have you done your work today?" Yeah, yeah, I've done it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you want to go? What do you want to do now? Go for a fag. Yeah, we'll go for a fag. Whereas here, it's like it sounds really weird, but going to smoke my e cig on my own and not having to talk to is kind of depressing. Like I get like big smoke culture. Even people who didn't smoke in the army. If you said, oh, I'm going out for a fag break, they'd come and join you. They'd come chat with you. They'd have a chill with you. Go over what work needs to be done. Go over what they did the weekend. Any fucking gossip they used to go over. They used to do it. And it, it was a way of, once again, of breaking up the day that I, I don't really get in the RF. It's really strange. Like, I'll go out for a smoke on my own, have my smoke, come back and crack on with work again. It, that's just the way it is. Uh, the third reason... The third, the third reason I think I, I miss the army is also the unpredictable nature of being in the army. I remember being like, sat there chilling, doing my work, doing my work casually. I think it was like just after Christmas leave. And it was, all right, lads, 
just a reminder, I meant to tell you before Christmas leave, you're deploying January 7th. And I was like, it's January 6th. So we're deploying tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah deploying tomorrow. It's going away for six weeks. I'm like, <laughs> wait, wait, what? Looking back at now, at the time, it was it was shit. I remember like, panicking, like, oh my God, I've got a night to pack all my kit, get ready, I don't even know where I'm going. I just know I'll be here at five o'clock in the morning to get on the fucking truck. And I remember literally doing it, like, at the time thinking, oh my God, this is crap. But now I think, once again, it sounds like everything I've said is like a way to break up time. Going away so often with the army was a way to break up the year. The amount of times I went away, just like, even like four weeks, five weeks, six weeks at a time, uh, even like battle camps, week, week here, week there, it breaks up the year. And I get it's like, it was, for me, it was shit at the time. I know people in the army now are still saying, it's shit. But your year goes so much faster when you've got something to prepare for, like an exercise going, you know, you've got it. Whereas while I'm in the RAF, everything is constantly moving. So like the cyber stuff in the army is getting ready to bring your kit into the field. So you're constantly keeping that ready, ready to deploy again. Whereas in the RAF, you're keeping the cyber going because every day it's getting used, which is for me, like when I was in the army, I remember like I'd check my kit, it'd be like a okay, day checks, anything needs to be worked on. No, not really. It's good. Okay. All fucking green lights. Perfect. Uh, it's all my paperwork. I'm like, now what do we do? Sort of thing. We used to let you go from that to going to like the scoff house, getting a breakfast wrap. That was like the main thing where I was at 16 things. You just go for a breakfast wrap. Like as soon as you finish, do day checks, go for a smoke, get your breakfast wrap, go for a smoke then go back to work and it was it was good it was good I, I really enjoyed my time looking at it now i still don't regret leaving the british army like it has been the right decision for me and i think it is going it is going well now i'm all now i'm all back in work and i'm starting to settle back into it again it's really really good um but yeah shout out to all my people still back in the army uh respect to all of you who are still serving respect to people who have left respect to people who have killed message in me about transferring across. Some people, I'm like the anomaly. The amount of people that said, oh, fuck this, I'm transferring to the RAF, and then didn't, they did, like, the bottle it. Whereas I was like, nah, I am, I'm going, I'm, I'm done. And then I was like, mate, well done to you, well done to you. Some people I speak to have done like 14 years on, I'm going to go, I wish I transferred sooner, but now it's too late for me to transfer across, which I do get it, the setting, setting the wise, and it's actually more hassle to transfer across and just to continue your service where you are. But yeah, so that's what I miss about the British Army. I do, I do miss it in a way. I miss all the friends that I had. Uh, so I'll speak to a couple of them, which is good. Yeah, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know a couple of my army mates are going to be watching this like, ah, I fucking told you they'd miss them. I, t I told you we'd miss us. Nah, all that shit. But anyway, it's been King Sloth. Leave a like, comment and subscribe and for 10 likes. And I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.